What's up everybody? It's the Collector of Superheroes here again with another cool video. In this video I want to do some uh I want to show you guys some comics that I picked up. Getting back into the comics again. Not too heavy. Just figured I'd go to my LCS today and look through the dollar bin, see what I can find. I found a lot of cool stuff. I've been uh looking for uh really just uh x-men keys and uh a lot of stuff to tie into the logan x-23 storyline and so i went ahead and picked up some cool stuff a couple other things that just caught my eye that i went ahead and picked up and i want to show you guys these uh comics that i picked up today and the first one i want to show you guys all these i picked up out of the dollar bin x-men worlds apart cool storm cover j.s campbell i already had it but i seen it for a buck so why not went ahead and picked it up it always sells on my ebay so i might as well sell that new x-men 132 cool looking book all these new x-men books i'm just going crazy on i'm gonna start picking them up because i always see them and they always catch my eye and there's a lot of keys in these new x-men books and you know what i said you know what screw it i'm gonna start picking them up new x-men 133 I don't know who that is. I think that's the like uh, Asian girl or the uh, I don't know. Somebody's coming at her though. It looks like Wolverine's coming at her. New X Mutants: The Ties That Bind, one of six. And these story right here, and these storyline, these new mutants, the new one. There's a lot of first appearances, and so I went ahead and picked this up. I think this is the first appearance of one of the one of the newer mutants. X Infernus, uh, then it's Magic on the front cover, variant edition. I love this cover, these these covers right here. So I went ahead and picked up both of these for a buck. Can't beat it. Just cool looking books. Uh, Grant Morrison on X Men. A lot of people hate that he joined the X Men, started doing the X Men, the little run. New X Men, uh, Grant Morrison. A lot of first appearances in these new X Men books. Uh, not, I'm not holding them up no more. I'm going to start picking them up. <laughs> New X-Men 154. Grant Morrison again. Epic stories in these books. So, New X-Men number 151. Mark Silvestri story. Got Wolverine Logan on the front cover. I love this cover right here. I seen it today and I was like, why not? I'm going to have to pick this up. Uh, X-Men number 190 Mystique kissing uh, Iceman Check that out That's cool man That's a cool looking ass cover New X-Men Another book that always caught my eye And never pick it up Today I said I'm done looking at it In the dollar bins <laughs> I'm picking it up I think it's the first appearance or something Or a key uh, X New X-Men number 114 on looking at it it's in my collection i could stop worrying <laughs> new x-men 152 cool looking cover as well i think this is del oto i think this is a del oto cover might not be but this looks cool here comes tomorrow 204 nightcrawler cover check that out got it it's in my collection this book right here is a cool book uh all new x-men because people didn't they didn't know who it was the mystery man the x-23 was kissing on this cover and i mean uh, J, uh michael bendis right here and this is cool looking cover all new x-men number 20 who is the mystery man the x-23 is kissing right here check that out picking up all these x-23 books i know for a fact right here this is a del Oto cover New X-Men number 127. Pretty sure it's a Delto cover. This book right here is sick. Epic. I'm telling you. I read this storyline. It's incredible. This is a I think this is the one shot right here. You guys gotta read this this story. If you're an X-23 fan, this book is cool as hell. The third chapter in a five-part epic. In this book. There's a cosmic force, and it's called the Unipower, and it gets into everybody and it enhances their powers. So this one, it got into uh, X-23, and you can see the universe in her like shirt, in her hair, 
and she's got these cosmic power and they're looking for uh aim and you know uh uh the agents of shield shields looking for it and it's in x23 and she's going berserk and this is just a cool book man found it in the dollar bin she got them sexy white uh you know pants on she's looking cool as hell check out her claws are glowing that's just an epic ass cover man i'm about to put this in a mylar and i might display this for a minute just because i love that cover another book that's cool found it in the dollar bin uh, endangered species look at this art on this i mean come on this is sick number 200 chapter one x-men endangered species number 200 look at that wrap around cover look at all the superheroes x-men superheroes on that cover look at rogue she's got the the cool green and white going that's sick man i had to pick that up can pass that up for a buck another Another book that I picked up, Giant Size Milestone Issue, 30, 35th Anniversary. I'm starting to pick up these cool looking uh, holographic covers and I don't have this one yet. And it's just epic, looks awesome. A Team Reunited, A Dream Reborn, X-Men number 80. Like a holographic cover on it. Yeah, that's freaking sweet. Check him out. All these dollar bin books that I'm finding, I mean, these X-Men books are going to start going up. I've been going crazy picking up X-Men, and uh, I went ahead and got a little run of this book right here that i just been wanting to, uh, to find these books. This little run right here, a lot of you guys might know. Uh, he's basically been confirmed. I don't care what anybody says. We're just waiting to know who he's gonna play and I, I speak no other than uh, Mr. Sinister and this is the storyline right here the Ignite Inferno storyline Sinister Schemes I went ahead. I finally got it I'm gonna go ahead and mylar all these up because these are part of my personal collection Sinister Scheme storyline Ignite Inferno uh, Uncanny X-Men number 239 finally got it also got number 240 another to the same storyline i got the little run mr sinister up to sinister things looks cool man inferno x-men number 241 a son for the goblin queen that's a uh, baby cable on the front cover and that's when uh that's when apocalypse went ahead and cloned uh, Jean Grey when when she passed away when she died and when she came back uh, The baby was born and Cyclops uh, Thought that you know Jean Grey Had came back alive, but really she was a uh, she was a uh, a clone uh, Apocalypse had cloned her and this is the storyline a son for the Goblin Queen. So Cable isn't really uh, Jean Grey isn't Cable's mother the Goblin Queen is Cable's mother. And this is the storyline right here. It's a cool book. That's Baby Cable on the front cover. Uh, Infernal X-Men Sinister Triumphant. This is a sweet ass book. A sweet ass cover. Found it in the dollar bin in the wild. Why not? I went ahead and picked it up. Mr. Sinister fighting all the X-Men right there. It's coming, man. It's coming soon. Mr. Sinister up to no good. I'm telling you. <laughs> Giant size spectacular. I think this is the end right here. Finally, because you demanded it, demanded it. The originals are back. X Factor, giant size, Inferno X Men. Look at that. The X Factor team back. That's sick. Return of the X Factor. Uncanny X Men, Inferno. I'm sorry, Inferno X Men number two forty two, and I think that might be the last one, or there might be one more. I'm not sure, but I'm missing one of the books because the guy at the, at the LCS was like, I'm trying to find it for you, man. And he couldn't find it for me. I think it's, I can't remember which one it is, but he couldn't find it for me. He was like, I ain't got it. Oh, well. This right here, I know is the first appearance, and a lot of people might not know this character. She is such an awesome character. She's one of my favorite characters in the, in the new X-Men storylines. And every time I see this book in the dollar bin, I pick it up because she's a very underrated character. Her name is Surge, and she's got these gauntlets, and they surge up with power. And when Xavier first found her, she was a, like an orphan in the streets. Like, she's from Japan, and she was, you know, in the streets, 
and she didn't know how to use her powers. So Xavier built these gauntlets for her and took her in to the X-Men Academy and put her in the new X-Men, uh, young X-Men Academy uh, team. And her best friend is X-23. So I seen this book. I was looking for X-23 books, found that book. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Let me go ahead and pick this book up for a dollar because this is the first appearance of Surge. And every time I see this book, I pick it up. I plan on getting these books graded soon. I'm going to just go ahead and ship them all out to CBCS. Screw it. A lot of these young, these keys, these new X-Men keys and get them graded just for my personal collection because I think they're very cool and uh, very underrated characters. I got two, two copies of that one now. Now, these last three books, I didn't pay a dollar for, but they're awesome. And I just, a lot of people might know I just completed my Submariner run, uh, first series, and I'm done with that run. So I said, hmm, what am I going to start collecting now? And what I am going to start collecting, back, Wolverine, my favorite superhero of all time. X-Men, my favorite superhero team of all time. Greatest superhero team. You can't mess with them. And humans trying to mess with the X-Men. They're too damn powerful. You can't mess with the originals. Logan, Cyclops, Storm, Beast, they're coming at you. They're awesome. They're epic. My favorite superhero team of all time. So I'm back to collecting those guys. So watch out for me on eBay because they call me the last slice swiper, the corner crook. I'm coming to get all your X-Men books. And another book that I've been looking at, I've been picking them all up every time I find them. And I'm going to be picking them all up at the Comic Cons. My new favorite... Uh, vintage to collect is none other than the spider woman so here you guys go you guys know my secret i've been keeping it for a minute that's because i done got almost the whole run complete of the first series of spider woman i've been hoarding her picking her up boom love this book spider woman this is her first solo story right here first spectacular issue i love her right here these covers are awesome i'm starting to get into spider-man picking up a lot of spider-man stuff and this book is flawless mint. I'm, th I'm sending this out to CGC to get it pressed and cleaned and submitted. Hopefully it comes back high grade. I love that book. Another book that I found for 10 bucks. It's a great find for 10 bucks. Variant cover, uh, World War Hawks, number 609. Incredible Hulk, number 609. A lot of people don't know what the significance of this book is. This book is... Uh, I found the, this copy now. I've been wanting to find it because this is a two-part uh, connecting cover. And on this side, you got the Red Hawks. And on this side, you got the Green Hawks. And I believe, I can't remember which one this one is, but this might be, there's two of them. And on one, the appear, first appearance is uh, General Ross is revealed to be the Red Hulk. And then on this one, I think it is, or the other one, I'm not sure, it's... Betty Ross is revealed to be the she the red she hawk. So yeah, so this is I think this is I'm almost sure this is the Betty Ross is revealed to be the red she hawk and it's just a cool cover, man. I love this guy's artwork. He's awesome. I think he is the he's one of the top dogs in Marvel right now, Finch, and he's just epic. His stuff on the uh his drawings on the the hawks are just really freaking cool, man. Uh, Finch, I like that artist. Last but not least, whoa, almost bent my book up. That's what I get for not paying attention, but I did it. It's safe and clean. These books are hot right now. They're jumping off. Wolverine, Old Man Logan, Logan and Hawkeye meet the new kingpin of crime. Number 68, second printing. I almost got the run complete of Old Man Logan. And a lot of them are variants. And this is just a cool book right here. Wolverine, Old Man Logan. It says, Hawkeye and Logan meet the new kingpin of crime. Who is that? I don't know. I can't remember. But, um, I mean, look at that cover. He's pissed off. He's riding around in a Jeep with X-23 in his passenger seat. <laughs> And uh, I mean, what if this? What if they show him like that in the movie? Mad like this book might jump off. You never know. That's why I pick up everything when it comes to comics. I don't second guess it. If I see it, it catches my eye. Boom! I pick it up because those are usually the books that uh, people sleep on, and they end up being a lot of money. These books. 
You know what I mean? And so that's why I've been picking them up. I'm not holding them up no more. And uh, tonight, I wanted to make you guys that video real quick to show you guys my epic finds in the dollar in the wild. And as always, I appreciate you guys for tuning in to another video of mine on YouTube. And uh, I'm sorry I didn't. I wasn't able to upload the X23 Innocent Loss that I promised everybody that I was going to do on my Facebook page. And uh, I just haven't had time. And this one I made real quick. And I figured, why not? Let me pop it up there. Give you guys something to watch on Saturday if you're not doing nothing. And as always, subscribe, like, share my my videos and the collector of superheroes peace one i'm out see you guys on the next one